Ruben, firstly, uh, how'd, you, how'd you feel after the debut? And it must be nice to come back here to your old school and, and give something back. Um, yeah, it felt, felt a mixture of um, uh, happiness and disappointment too. Obviously, we didn't get the result, uh, but nonetheless, it was an amazing experience. You only get one debut. Um, just coming back here too is great. Uh, my little brother over there goes here and um, it's changed a lot, but I'm sure the morals and um, what they teach the kids is still the same here. You know, Lepper said at the post-match press that he felt like you were holding something back a little bit in your debut. Like, do you feel like, is that right? And what, what do you think you can uh, give against GWS? Um, I reckon, yeah, he's, he's right to some degree there. Um, there's times where I, I could have possibly taken the game on a bit more. Um, it's possibly not, not sure whether I should or not being the first game, but um, I think this week is a chance for me now that I've had the first game to settle and probably do, do that a bit more, take the game on and use my strengths well. Is that your biggest lesson then, just to be back yourself a bit more? Oh uh, yeah, it is. So they, they preach that to me all the time. What about the club, uh, Harney as well? Uh, we go, we're going to go over footage of Jason Jarnison just because he's a player who does it really well. Um, so we go over through that footage, and he just keeps encouraging me to take the game on and go and go. So I guess you think mate, back at your old school, uh, nice for the kids here to see an example of what they can do, I suppose, if they um, put them put their mind to something. The fact that you've made it to the top level now. Yeah, it is good. Um, you know, kids all need role models. Um, you know, I'd be privileged if one of them could say I was their role model, um, but you never know. Um, so obviously, something to aspire to is important, and hopefully these kids can, you know, a few special ones in here, can do what they want to do, whether that's football, um, art, music, whatever field they want to pursue. Your little brother's hiding from you, though. What's up with that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he's hiding from me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's still looking down, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I reckon you'll have to ask him yourself to get the answer out of that one. So it's another report of um, rumoured unrest within the player group. Is that right or is it not right? I think that's just rumours, Greg. Um, unless you're inside the four walls, I guess you don't really understand what really goes on, but yeah, a bit of a shock to hear or read or see whatever has been written this morning, but yeah, we can totally dismiss that. We know that's not happening at all. Um, We've got a lot of trust and a lot of belief in Leper and he's doing a really great job at the moment. Um, we're not getting the results that we'd like, but um, all the boys are working really hard and, and trying to, to fix up what they need to to make sure the team gets a good result. There should be a certain level of being disgruntled though, because you're 1-14, in 14. no one should be happy, should they? They should be able to want, want to achieve or want to do better. Yeah, absolutely. I think as the playing group, we're doing that. Um, Leper's driving that. We want to get better. We want to not be 1-14. and 14. We want to be start working our way up the ladder um, and boys... I can definitely say are working extremely hard to do that um, on the field and off the field. So There's questions about the relationship between Leper and some of the senior guys. I guess you fall into that category. Have, have things changed from last year or improved or can you put us into the picture a little bit there? Yeah, absolutely. We've definitely improved. Um, obviously, these rumours started to happen about this time last year as well. But... Um, yeah, I can dismiss that right now, that things are as strong as they've ever been um, at the club. The playing group um, stands right behind Leper, um, even the senior players. Um, so there's nothing from that we can understand why this article has been written, but we can dismiss that pretty quickly. So yeah. what's, so, sorry Zane, what's, um, what's changed then in the, if players were a little bit um, disgruntled at the back end of last year when these things started, what's Leper improved or what's changed? In that oh, just to stay year? positive, mate. I think last year was extremely difficult. Um, year for us, um, obviously with the addition with um, Craig Lambert to come on board, um, kind of like that father figure for Leper in, in some regards. So I think um, Leper feels like he might have that, not necessarily event, but someone there that can help him that's been with him through a, a lot of his career um, that understands him a lot better. And I think Craig's obviously um, helped Leper with his delivery to, to, to players, whether it be positive, negative. Um, and I think that's really what Leper's been about he's been all positive through this difficult time um, and it's now up to us to start putting the results on the board. Communication is such an important thing for a head coach. How do you describe his communication skills? Yeah extremely good. Um, absolutely there's, I would say there's no issue with the way he communicates to the team. He's got a clear game plan that he wants us to um, to deliver on the weekend. At the moment as players we're letting him down by not delivering. Is he harsh in criticism particularly when you guys are doing reviews? Um, I think every senior coach has to be at, at some point in time. I mean, we're one and fourteen. We're not exactly shining in the world on fire, are we? So there's definitely times where um, 
it's been a whole team approach. There's been no individual being laid out, that's for sure. Um, this is about a team and, and building something, and we understand that it's going to take all 47 players on the list to do that. Do you think as a whole, the young fellas are showing glimpses as Ruben we saw last weekend and Hipwood and Matheson, that as a whole, do you think rest with the senior players sorts? Like, I mean, you, you've had a good season, but as a whole, do you think the senior players need to lift and carry the load a lot more than what they have been? Well, yeah. Maybe with their performances on field, but what they're doing yeah. off field is absolutely exceptional. So it's great to have so many young kids coming through. And as senior players, I think we'd all like to be playing a little bit better to, to take a little bit of heat off the young guys that are going so well. So, but I mean, Inside our four walls, what the senior players are doing is phenomenal. So um, everyone wants to play better on the weekend, but at the moment it's just not happening like that. I guess you get your next chance this weekend um, playing GWS. We expect them to be stiff opponents. Or what can we expect from you this weekend? Yeah, they're a great side. Um, obviously, they'd be very disappointed with the loss to Collingwood on the weekend. Um, and as are we, we're very disappointed with, with not winning the Q clash. We thought we were a really good opportunity to win that. Um, and we'll execute the exact same game plan that Leffer gave us last week. Um, and hopefully uh, we fix up a few things that let us down in, that, in, in those crucial periods where they got a few goals on us and, and we'll, we'll give ourselves a big chance. Obviously your results are what's sort of bringing a lot of this pressure and speculation and reports. What do we expect out of you for the, this weekend and the rest of the season? Yeah, just a united effort, I think. It's, it's, going to be, it's not going to be up to just the young kids or a few of the senior players to step up. It's going to take um, the 22 senior players and, and the guys playing reserves as well. We want to stand really strong as a club, um, as a playing group. And I think this weekend we'll eliminate those glimpses of 10, 15 minutes where we just look uninterested, I guess. Um, so that's what we're going to try and eliminate for the rest of the year and really stand united as one.